All right, we want to solve a problem using Boyle's Law. Our first step always is we want to identify what are the variables that we know, what are the variables that we are looking to solve for. Uh, so as we read this question, we can see that we know an initial pressure, we're going to call that P1, and that was a value of 0.987 atmospheres. Uh, we know that this weather balloon is going to rise to a, uh, a high altitude where uh, the pressure is going to be a lot lower than what it would be uh, at sea level. So that pressure at a higher altitude will be our P2, and this is 2.7 times 10 to the minus 3 atmospheres. The other known variable that we have is the starting volume for this balloon. That was given as 7,500 liters. We're going to call that V1. Finally, we can see that V2 is the volume that the weather balloon is going to have as it reaches a higher altitude. This is what we're trying to find, so I'm just going to write in a question mark right now indicating that this is what I would like to solve for. Because I'm trying to find the volume of that weather balloon at a higher altitude, I'd like to solve Boyle's Law in terms of the later volume, the V2. So let's write Boyle's Law, P1V1 equals P2V2. And because we want to uh, solve this for V2, we want to um, get V2 by itself. So we're going to divide each side by P2. We can set this up and find that V2 is going to equal P1 V1 over P2. Now that we've solved our equation in terms of the unknown, V2 is equal to P1 V1 divided by P2, we'll substitute in our known values and solve. V2 will be equal to P1, which was 0 0.987 atmospheres, and we're going to be multiplying this by V1, which was 7,500 liters. And finally, we're going to be dividing this by our P2, which was 2.7 times 10 to the minus 3 atmospheres. So we'll just use parentheses to show that we're going to be multiplying the two values in the numerator, uh, and then we can also track our units. We can see that the unit's atmospheres here will cancel with the unit of atmospheres here, uh, and this allows us to see that we are going to be left with a unit of liters. This is a measure of volume, so we know that we're using a setup which is at least going to give us appropriate units. I'm ready to evaluate my answer now, so what I'd like to do is multiply 0.987 by 7,500, and I'll divide that by 2.7 times 10 to the minus 3. After doing this, I found an answer I'm calculating to be 2.7 times 10 to the 6. I've evaluated my units, and I saw that atmosphere cancel with atmosphere. I'm left with the unit of liters. And, and I can see that my answer is reasonable. Because the pressure is so reduced at this greater altitude, the balloon is going to expand in volume, uh, so it's going to become much larger. The final thing we're evaluating here is significant digits. And I can see with my initial measurements, I had three sig figs in my pressure measurement, two sig figs in the P2 measurement, and I also had two sig figs in the V1 measurement. This means that I need to report a final answer that has two significant digits.